Okay, in this video, we want to set up our URLs.py stuff. So head to our main weather directory and click on this URLs.py file. And this is the original URLs.py file that came with Django when we started our project. So I always just copy this and then head over to our lookup directory, click on it, right click and create a new file. I'm just gonna paste all this stuff in there for now and come up here to file, save, and then make sure you're in this lookup directory right here. And I'm just gonna name it urls.py. So now we've got a urls.py file here and a urls.py file here. And you'll notice, you can see the difference up here in the tab. This one's in the weather directory. This one's in the lookup directory, you can see right there. It's kind of confusing uh, dealing with both of these files when they're named the same thing. But for the most part, we're gonna be dealing in this uh, lookup directory urls.py file from now on. We do actually first have to make a quick change here. So let's go ahead and do that. Come over here to from Django URLs import path. And we also wanna put a comma and then we wanna import um, include. And this will allow us to include URLs from other apps in our project in this file. And we do that right down here. So we need to add a, uh, a path. So let's go path and then two quotation marks. Now these are single quotation marks, right? This is not a double quotation mark, two single quotation marks, and then a comma. And we wanna type include, and then parentheses, and then another set of single quotation marks. And we wanna include our new urls.py file, and that's in lookup, so type in lookup, dot, URLs, right? So what we're saying here is grab everything in this new URLs.py file right here and pull it in right here, right? So let's put a comma at the end of this just because that's normal. All right, so go ahead and save this. Control S on your keyboard, Command S on a Mac or come up here to save. And now we're basically done with this file, this URLs.py file inside of this weather directory, right? We're never really gonna ever, I don't think, deal with it again. So I'll just go ahead and close it. From now on, we're going to be dealing with this urls.py file in our lookup directory. And first things first, we don't need this admin reference. So we'll take that off. And we don't need this URL because this is the this is the URL for our admin site that we looked at a couple of videos ago, right? So we don't need that here because this is a different app. Okay, so now we're good to go. And from now on, every time we create a new web page, we'll add a URL right here in this little section right here to define it, right? So I think we'll do our first URL. We'll start to create that page in the next video.